down memory lane for some demon fans here is David Cordner in action pull down some great marks it is the second Southby unable to do anything from behind and still he came number three for David Cordner the demons on the run and here he is the great champion Robert Flower unfortunately badly injured and will not be taking part on Tuesday night in the state game but it's runs like this that inspired Melbourne in the first half. Thorn again, another hand pass. Back Johnson. Johnson and the shot of goal is close. Oh, Way by Thorn. Even defender Smith picks it up. Got amongst the goals. At that stage, the Demons were some six goals up, and the crowd was going wild to the chant if it's a grand old flag. But. The tide was to turn. What happened? 20 minutes into the last quarter. Murphy combines with Meldrum. Three points the difference. 35 seconds later. Tapped over to Murphy. Who again. Snaps truly. Murphy initiated this one. The long hand pass to 200 gamer Curly Austin. Who finds Warren Ralph. And it was good night, Demons. Great comeback by the Blues. We go down to Gardenia Park. Mossop roving for the Cats. Buse now. A left foot snap. Buse nips over with his left foot. It's going to bounce through. It does. Great goal. Cloak. The man who makes the game of football look so easy. Peter Dacos. In and out of the game was Dacos and yesterday. Here's, Here's goal number four. Dacos straightens up, and that's how you put them all towards goal. A lovely piece of football and four goals to Peter Dacos. But the Cats came back strongly in Ablett, the third term. Good up shepherding up Peak, allows goal. Peak through. Peak swings back, and it's the first goal of Peak's. Geelong really coming back. Held. Jeff Miles came onto the ground Miles and did his job so with this left foot snap. Them. Jeff Miles, the goal umpire, says it's another one to the... Blue, to the Matt Byers, hand pass to Abernethy. Abernethy, Abernethy this time combined with Shaw. Back towards Abernethy. A chance of a score as Abernethy goes towards goal. It's a beautiful looking kick, and Collingwood have got the game sewn up. Greg, Greg Phillips had Phillips. a minor goal altercation, but did return the hat. And says, look, I've done my job, you do yours. To Footscray and Essendon now. There wasn't a lot of running for the Bombers yesterday, but here's one good passage of play as Watson comes through the centre. Finds Glenn Hawker across the half forward line, and he makes no mistake for the Bombers. But it was the tearaway Bulldogs that showed their bite. Here's Hawkins under a cloud during the week, but performing well yesterday. Some good shepherding here by Hawkins as Nagel takes a dive to allow Burton through to goal. North Melbourne and St Kilda and a great day for the Saints as Lockett gives it to Fashini. Lockett combines again, this time to cross. And if it was the Saints needing inspiration, this man gave it to them. Burns, look at this run and he just won't be stopped no matter how they tried. Keep going Gregory and he did. To Hawthorne Fitzroy, the Hawks look lethal. This is one of his goals on the run. Now number five on the left foot. Fitzroy stayed with him though for three quarters. In fact, hit the front here with a goal from Bernie Quinlan. If Mickey Conlon was nicknamed the Bull, here's why. Watch this. No matter what the Lions did, the Hawks just kept on coming. Matthews combines with Judge. Matthews this time to burn on to Wallace like lightning. And it was Matthews, in fact, who put the sealer on the game. So characteristic of Lee Matthews in front of goal. And another great performance by the Hawthorne skipper. In fact, he, this week, in the Mazda Football Highlights, takes out the weekly award...
for the top player of the day, an outstanding performance. Lee Matthews, in fact, rewriting the record books yesterday. Is it caught enough?